So here we are in the middle of Leicester at the Gelato Village where they serve over 24 different varieties of ice cream. How do I decide which one I'm going to eat today? Well, as Christians, there are so many different things we can do for God, so many different spiritual gifts and roles. How do we decide what we should do for him and what he's wanting us to do? This week on Grace Notes, we're thinking about calling and what God has given us to serve him with. We're in the middle of Leicester where people are doing all kinds of different jobs, holding different responsibilities and roles. And as Christians, we believe that God has gifted each one of us. He's made each one of us uniquely uh, to fulfill a different role within this world. And particularly for us as Christians within the mission that he's called the church to. The psalmist says that he knit us together in our mother's womb. And as well as shaping our abilities and our personality, God has poured his Holy Spirit into us and given us spiritual gifts. And the way in which those abilities and personality and gifts come together is the place where we're going to be most fulfilled and that we can most fruitfully fulfill God's call upon our life. But it's not always easy to discover that. And one of the ways in which Christians have discovered it's helpful to get a clue as to that area of calling is to discover the main area of ministry or service that you're most fruitful in, that you're most fulfilled in, that you care most about in life. And we're not just talking about the church, we're talking about how you contribute to your workplace, to your friendships, to your family, to the areas of life you care about. And those five areas are the apostolic, the prophetic, the evangelistic, the pastoral and the teaching ministries or areas of service. And I believe that each one of us can connect with one of those main areas. And when we begin to understand which one we are called to, that opens up ways of exploring the call and the specific things God is looking for us to do. To help us with that, we're going to interview Nathan Aboko, who in the last few years has discovered that the area of ministry God has called him to is the prophetic. So Nathan, how long were you a Christian before you discovered that this was the area of calling that God had for you? Well, yeah, I'd been a Christian about, about four years, four to five years. And what were the things that helped you to begin to discover that that was the area God was calling you to? I always had a desire um, to hear God, uh, to know what God was doing in the world, um, right from the early days, really. Um, and then I started to look into it, I started to meet people, I started to hear people talk about it. Um, saw Survivor, I went to New Wine, then they did a prophecy course at New Wine, I joined that. Um, I joined a course at, U at Trinity and I just kept exploring it like that. So you discovered that you're called to a prophetic ministry. What did you then do about that to help grow in that ministry? I began to meet with other people to listen to God and share it with other people. Um, I began to share it at church, and then ultimately I started to teach it as well, uh, in terms of the prophecy course. So Nathan, what's the fruit of this been? What have you seen God do through your prophetic ministry? Well, I mean, it's very interesting, and I've seen um, people um, receive a word from God, and they've come back to me, um, sometimes months later, and actually have said, you know, Nathan, that word that you said, I've held on to it, God's really been taking me through this season and you know it's really made a difference in their lives. That's been quite incredible. And finally Nathan, how does your prophetic ministry connect with your natural abilities and the things that you're doing in your work day by day? My natural abilities are really in the artistic and creative field um, and so I really enjoy um, listening to God and trying to see if I can get those pictures uh, for the type of things that I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get his inspiration also, painting and drawing and things, that's a bit of a meditation for me. There have been times when I've asked God for an image and then started to draw it out. And as I've been drawing it out, that's when um, the inspiration has come, that's when the prophecy has come through. So there's a little picture on how you can discover your area of ministry and how that can lead you to begin to serve God in the areas of your calling. So the question I want to leave you with is, what is your ministry area? and how are you going to serve God as part of his kingdom and the mission that he's called us to?